G'day and welcome to the Tech Math channel. What this video is going to be looking at today is how to divide by numbers that are multiples and would have multiples of tens. These are whether you're dividing by tens, hundreds, thousands even, okay, right up and up and up. So first off, I'm going to give you a question to start you off. So 26,000 divided by 100. What's the answer to this? Now these are really, really quite simple questions to do once you get the hang of them. Uh, and I'll show you how I do these. There's a couple of things I think when I, when I look at these. First off, what I'd, I'd look at is I'm going to get back to this number that I'm going to play around with, this 26,000 in a second. But I'm going to more concentrate on this 100 for a minute because there's a couple of things, well, ma one major thing which you can notice with it, and that is it has one, two zeros. Okay, so it has two zeros. Okay really really important thing to get because really all you're going to be doing here is we're going to be once you get, once you have things with zeros once you have numbers with zeros and you're dividing or even once we get to times in these all you're doing a lot of the time is moving the decimal place you'll find this 26 here stays exactly the same but you're either just going to get more or less zeros and okay I'll show you how to do this so 26,000 first thing which you really want to consider with this is there is a decimal place that exists with this uh, 26,000, and it exists. We don't bother generally draw it, but it exists at the very end of the number here. You could actually write 26,000 with 0 .000, and it wouldn't change the number at all. It's important to know that at the moment, this is where the decimal place is. And all we're going to be doing when we divide by 100 is we're going to be moving the decimal place. How many times are we going to move it? Well, in 100, there's two zeros. We're going to move it twice. The other thing you're going to think of now, and this occasionally throws a few people, which way do you move it? And what I think to myself with this, whenever I do these, is I think, well, if I'm dividing by 100, is the number going to get bigger or is it going to get smaller? Hey, it's going to get smaller, OK? OK, so it's going to be moving. To make 26,000 smaller, we're going to move the decimal place this way, OK? How many times are we going to move it? Twice. So we're going to move it once, twice. And the answer, I'll get rid of those, is 200. And 60. Okay, what about I give you another one of these? Okay, what about uh, we give you this one? 130,000 divided by 10,000. Okay, first off, count the number of zeros here. So there's one, two, three, four. Four zeros. Is the number getting bigger or smaller? Well, it's going to get smaller because we're dividing. So we're going to have to move the decimal place this way four times. So the decimal place starts here. We're going to move it one, two, three, four. Decimal place is going to end up here. Ditch these numbers here. We don't want them anymore. We're going to end up with the answer of 13. What about one last one of those? And then I'll give you guys a bunch of them to do by yourself. So here we go. Um, the quick last one, I'll keep the, I'll go 210000. Zero, 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 zero. So the number of 210,000, and I'm going to divide this by 100. Okay, very quickly, we have one, two zeros, two zeros number's getting a dividing, so the number's going to get smaller, the answer's going to be smaller. So we're moving it twice. One, two. And we'll get rid of those. And we have the answer of 2,100. All right. I'll tell you, there's just one other one I'd like to put up there. And I wasn't planning on doing this, but I, th I think you're ready for it, okay? And then I'm going to, I'm going to give these, I'll give this to you, okay? And that's this sort of one. What happens if you get something really, really tricky? And it's like this. What happens if you get the answer of uh, the question 210,000, but you're asked to divide that by 1 million? Okay. And yeah, you can do this. I know this number here is bigger than this one, but you can divide it. It just means you're going to end up with a really, really small number. You're going to end up with a number with a decimal place in front of it. Okay, so how do you do this? Again, count the zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six of them. Starting from here, we're going to which way we're we moving. Well, we're dividing, so again we're going this way. 
and we're going to do it six times. So one, two, three, four, five, six. The decimal place ends up here. Our answer is 0.21. Often what we do is we put a zero here also, so it looks like 0 0.21. You're pretty good with that? I'll tell you what, here's a bunch of questions to see how good you are. Alright, see how you go with these. I'm going to come up with the answers and start working with these in five seconds. So you might want to pause this. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, and now I'm going to work through these answers. How did you go? So, first off, count the number of decimal places here. There's one, so we're going to move the decimal place one time. The number's getting smaller, so it's going to go from here one time to here, which is going to be 450 as our answer. This one, we've got one, two decimal places. Okay, so we're moving the decimal place twice. One, two. Okay, get rid of those. We get the answer of 160. We've got one, two decimal places on the next question, so we're moving it twice. One, two. We get rid of those. We've got 1,800 as our answer. We've got one, two, three decimal places on the next question. I'm going to have to move the decimal place one, two, three times. Okay, so I'm going to end up with 0 0.75 as my answer. What about this one? I've got one, two, three, four. I reckon this is a bit of a trick, this one. So we're starting here, and I'm going to move it one, two, three, four. Here. Wait a second. I've gone a little bit beyond here. There's a little trick here. If you actually uh, go beyond and then the little decimal place keeps going, what you do is you actually put a zero in there. So we get the answer of 0 0.076. If you got stuck on that one, you might want to pause it and give the next couple a go. All right, and this is how I get with the next ones. So there's one, two, three decimal places. I've got to move the decimal place one, two, three times. I put a dot in there, a zero in there, and I get the answer zero point zero three. This one, one, two, three, four, five. I have to move the decimal place one, two, three, four, five. All right, and I'm going to end up with two zeros in there. I'm going to end up with the answer of 0 0.0056. Hopefully you went really, really good with those. Any questions, send it through a message. I'll answer it as quick as I can. Okay, see you next time.